Okay, so Gamelan sequence and task. You should have downloaded the Barish dance notation, which it tells you how to play each part, how long to hold each note for, and what instrument to use. Let's get started. So for the first part, we want a marimba. So for all of these instruments, we're going to percussion first. There's my marimba. Um, the tempo should be 110. So you might want to, 110 is fine for the first few parts, but you might want to slow it down, or well, you will want to slow it down for the more advanced, the level seven and eight parts. Make sure your counting is on for one bar. And then let's get started. Quantize on, octave two. If you're using headphones, this should be fine. If not, you might find that C2 is too low. If it's too low, use C3. I'm going to go to the beginning and then hit record. After my four beat counting, I play C and then F and hold them for four beats each. Stop. Let's double click to have a look. Yep, that starts on bar two. That starts on bar one. Excellent. You could extend these so they last that entire bar. And then we can see at the top there, it's gone over bar three so before I loop that I want to make sure that's snapping to bar three then I can loop it next general MIDI the gong now there is no gong so I'm gonna just find a symbol and unfortunately um, I can't give you the keys because it's not like with a keyboard so when you've chosen your general MIDI percussion just feel around for the symbol so there we go that's kind of a long symbol so I'm gonna use that one Take it to the beginning by pressing back at the bottom and hit record. Hold it for eight beats. And there we go. Shorten that so it's exactly three. And then we can loop that as well. Okay, then we just go through. Next is the drum, instruments, percussive. General MIDI, and you just want to find a drum. Okay, I'm going to go for that. I can't hear that well as I'm recording, so I don't know if this is even close. Well, let's just go for that. So I hit record. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I managed to mess that up, so let's fix those errors. It should be on the beat, each one should be on the beat. And there we go. And then it's a little bit short, so let me extend it, then I can loop that. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, for the more advanced ones, I would slow down. So the last thing I'm going to demonstrate is the level eight, um, because for that one, you need to slow it down. Also, the rhythm is a bit irregular. So I'm just going to show you the level eight one. I'm going to hit MIDI instruments, go to glockenspiel, percussion, glockenspiel. And then I want to go up to octave eight, or it only goes up to six. That's high enough. So that is the pattern there. It's C E C C E C E E. I definitely need to slow down my tempo here. 73. Let's see if I can do it at that speed. Okay, go to the beginning, hit record. Okay, I messed up the first one. I'm happy with the second one, so I'm just going to cut to that second bar. So you see they're all two little squares apart. And that's nice and even, so I'm happy with that. So at the end, and then I can loop this. Okay. If I then speed that up to 110. There we go. So 
work through all the parts um and yeah see how you get on with it